Exciting news, moms and dads. Thank you for all of your incredible feedback on the podcast. We knew we had to give you more of what you love, and that means answering as many of your questions as possible. That is why we are now releasing a second weekly episode dedicated entirely to Q&A. We know how much you care about your kids' health, and I'm here to bring you real talk, clinical insights and experiences, and practical tips to help your family reach new levels of healing and wellness. To submit your questions, simply email us at support at pxdocs.com with the subject, Ask Dr. Tony, or drop them into our stories on socials each and every week. Tune in this Friday. We can't wait to dive in and answer your questions. Parents are being told that it's toxins that are causing our kids to be so sick. There is so much more moms and dads that you are not being told. Welcome to the Experience Miracles podcast, where we help parents find hope, answers, and drug-free help to overcome your child's chronic health challenges. I'm your host, Dr. Tony Ebel, and I'll be sharing my experiences as both a dad and a doctor on every episode. I can take the latest science and neurology of healing and break it down in the most simple and relatable way possible. We'll take on the toughest topics and answer your biggest questions through interviews with other amazing parents and leading experts, leaving you with practical action steps that you can take to help your child heal and thrive. It's time to expect and experience miracles. Let's get started. All right, parents, it is time. Some doctor, someone tells you the truth about what's really causing our kids of this generation to be so chronically sick. If you look at the CDC's website, which is always outdated and minimizes the reality of chronic illness in this world, and most importantly, doesn't even attempt to address What's really actually causing it? They say that 40%, four out of 10 kids today have chronic illness. But if you look at the actual research and if you really just go out in your community, if you go out in your family and you just look around at soccer practice, at school, wherever, kids are chronically sick. And they're not just dealing with one or two things. The majority of kids with chronic illness have multiple chronic illnesses. Their digestive systems, their immune systems are a mess. Their socialization, their speech, their communication, and and they have developmental delays. Their focus, their emotional regulation, their behavior is a mess. They're on antibiotics and inhalers and medications all the time for frequent respiratory illnesses, allergies, asthma. Why can't kids at all today handle dairy, gluten, and certain foods or certain things in the environment? Is it just the environment? And see, that's what I want to cut right to and tell you. When I first got into practice 15 plus years ago, most families were still believing what is really just the medical fallacy and the made up story. Truthfully, it really is. It's the worst science ever. We bought all the way into it and the world has woken up, but the medical system is still stuck on it. That all bad health, all disease, all chronic illness, acute illness, and pretty much everything is due to bad genetics. So the medical system still literally today, which is crazy, it still exists using that theory that bad health for your kiddos is bad luck. It's genetic. There's nothing you can do about it. It's genetic. It's chemical, chemical imbalances and malfunctions and things just programmed bad. And because it's bad luck, it's genetic and there's nothing you can do about it. You must be reliant on them, the medical system system for life and your kids are just supposed to take these medications forever. Now, parents of this generation today, we're done with that. We understand that that can't be and is not the whole story. And even even if it was, my goodness, let's just let it pretend to be true for a second. Do we want our kids on medications filled with side effects for the rest of their life? What is going to make them healthy from that path? It's not. In fact, those medications over time, even if they're helping the symptoms a little bit, they wear off and they become less effective. But the side effects are always there. They're short term. There's long term. There's so many side effects. But now in this generation, there's actually something more going on. Now, today, parents are being told more of the truth, and you're finding more of the truth on Instagram, on Google, on the internet, in Facebook groups, and out there today with this natural health movement. Call it holistic, call it functional medicine, call it whatever you want. Now, in that world, awesomely, accurately, but hear this word incompletely, parents are being told that it's toxins that are causing our kids to be so sick. So it's the toxic load. There is so many toxins in our environment today that these toxins are overwhelming our kids' health. They're getting into their body, getting into their gut, getting into their bloodstream, creating inflammation and creating chronic illness. And this second 
theory, if you will, is absolutely dead on accurate. We are way too toxic in today's world. There is way too too many chemicals and toxins that our kids, even our babies, even during pregnancy, we are exposed to. And kids and chemicals don't mix. That's how I like to always say it. Kids and toxins don't mix. They are not supposed to be inhaled. They are not supposed to be ingested and they should not be injected, okay? Kids and chemicals do not mix and they do not add up to good health. They add up to poor health. But there is so much more moms and dads that you are not being told. See, here's the deal and here's the truth. And if I need to be the first one to share it with you, please ask that you share it with so many other natural, healthy, crunchy families who have already, like I see all day, every day in my practice, which is totally different than 15 years ago. Very few people have now medicated their kiddos but pretty much 80 to 90% of kids coming into my practice, they've already gone gluten-free, casein-free, removed all the toxins from their diet, from their food, from their house, from the cleaners, from you name it, but their kids are still sick. Because the truth we deserve to know as parents today is that toxins aren't brand new to this generation. So when we look at chronic illness over the last generation or two, whether we look at autism or asthma or anxiety or even epilepsy or even cancer in kids and definitely obesity, my goodness, too much sugar, too much toxic food, too many Cheez-Its and Doritos and Mountain Dew are absolutely partially to blame but not entirely because chemicals have actually been around for quite a few generations. The industrial revolution that brought chemicals all over our life was actually many generations ago. And it was actually worse. Lead paint, asbestos, cigarettes everywhere. So there was actually more toxic exposure to heavier, nastier chemicals a couple generations ago, but yet less chronic illness. And if you're keeping up with me here, I hope you're wondering, so what the heck is it? And it's a word, it's a thing, it's a part of the body that everybody knows about, maybe has never heard about in this light, but again, in the same breath, knows all about. It's our nervous systems. We have way too much stress, not just on us as parents with our busy schedules with work, sports, and everything else. Our kids' nervous systems are more stressed out more wound up and more what's called sympathetic dominant or subluxated than ever before. You never actually even need to say the word subluxation again in your life. It's not going to show up on a spelling test from our our, our Instagram platform or Facebook or YouTube or podcast, wherever you're watching this. We're not going to make you say or spell or pronunciate subluxation, but it is so important to your family's health that you understand that subluxation is real and it's the number one hidden in plain sight problem, root cause trigger of chronic health and honestly, even acute challenges in kids. Because subluxation means this, the sympathetic fight or flight, stress, protection, inflammation, meltdown, tantrum, anxiety, hyperactivity, inability to focus, concentrate, relax, fall asleep side of our nervous system for our kids is stuck on. Subluxation in an infant looks like this colic, indigestion, reflux, difficulty nursing, can't soothe, can't calm, can't sleep. They're arching their back. They're they're tense. They're stiff all the time. And you know when your child, when your little baby is or was, because if your child, we're going to stay with this trajectory called the perfect storm. You know when your little tiny infant is having too much crying, too much uh, just just stress and uncomfortableness. You know something's wrong, but the pediatrician tells you, tells you don't worry, they'll grow out of it. And that's not true because they don't know how to address and understand the nervous system. They don't know about subluxation. Remember, they're still blaming everything on genetics. So when your child is colicky, refluxy, eczema, chronic constipation, chronic ear infections, inflamed, congested all the time because a colicky baby doesn't grow out of colic. They grow into frequent respiratory infections, ear infections, sinus infections, RSV, croup, bronchitis, you name it. And then they get more antibiotics, which is a toxin, which is bringing into that part of the conversation. But they don't grow out of that. They grow into a chronically sick and developmentally delayed kiddo because subluxation, when it stresses the nervous system out and it shifts it into what's called sympathetic dominance, it also very much messes with our motor development. So now kiddos get off track with their motor milestones. They either go too slow or they go too fast. Many kids are skipping crawling and a very important organizing nervous system regulating phase of development due to subluxation and sympathetic dominance. Subluxation wreaks havoc on the immune system. 
when we are stuck in fight or flight 24-7, 365, because this subluxated sympathetic dominant state, that system is important for health and well-being. It protects us because it's our protective stress response system, but it's supposed to be turned on and then turned back off. And we live in a world where everybody, including our babies, our toddlers, our, our grade schoolers, our kindergartners, our, I'm going out of order here, our babies, our toddlers, our preschoolers, our kindergartners, our grade schoolers, our junior hires, our high schoolers, our college students, and us are all subluxated, all stuck in sympathetic dominance, fight or flight. And so that colicky baby grows into developmental delays and chronic illness. Those tantrums, those meltdowns that they say, oh, don't worry again, they'll grow out of it. They're just two, it's the terrible twos. Oh, now they're three. No, they got it wrong. They just don't, can't do math. It's the terrible threes. What do you call it when they're four? And the tantrums and the meltdowns and they can't make transitions and they can't go to preschool and you can't go to Target or to a restaurant without your child having absolute screaming 11 out of 10 meltdowns. They don't. They didn't grow out of it. And they won't when subluxation and sympathetic dominance is still stuck on their nervous system. And then they go into school and they can't sit down and they can't focus and they can't, can't concentrate and they can't stop moving and they get bad grades. And the teacher says, I think you should have them evaluated for ADHD. And they push you and they almost force you to go do that so they can sit in their school and follow that regular school system, which is very tied to the medical system. And then the teacher says, go get an evaluation. And the neurologist doesn't even look at your kid. There is no exam for ADHD. And within in eight minutes, fill out a form online. Why do you even have to go see him? Just order it online. And you get an ADHD medication or anxiety medication or whatever it may be. So this system of stress and then sensitivity to toxicity, because when the sympathetic nervous system is running the show and your child is subluxated, their gut is shut down and they can't get rid of toxins. Their immune system is dysregulated and stuck in a pro-inflammatory state. So they become sensitive more than ever, more than any generation to gluten, to peanuts, to casein and to red dye number 40. So those are all problems but our inability to deal with them due to subluxation and sympathetic dominance is the biggest problem that no one else is talking about. Not just on the traditional, conventional, outdated, archaic, unscientific side of the medical fence, but even in the awesome, functional, integrative, holistic, natural health side, it's not just toxins. It's stress first, which takes me to my next point before we tell you how to find out if your child is subluxated and their nervous system is dysregulated and out of balance is what caused it? What triggers subluxation? We call it the perfect storm. Whatever platform you're watching this one or hearing this on, we have tons of videos about what we call the perfect storm. We have an online webinar that you can watch on demand, parents, 30 minute webinar. We know you're busy all about the perfect storm. We're gonna include the links wherever this video goes, or you can just find it yourself. Go to our website, pxdocs.com and look for the perfect storm article. Go to Instagram, go to Facebook, go to our Experience Miracles podcast, wherever you stay on the platform you're watching and find this or go to one of our other ones to find it there if you like to get content in a different type than this one provides. But the perfect storm is these three things, and they happen very early in what's called the sensitive or critical periods of development for kids. And it's a high stress fertility or pregnancy journey, number one. It's birth intervention, forceps, vacuum, epidural, induction, and C-section, physical trauma to the brainstem, to the upper neck, and the most sensitive area of the nervous system, which is that brainstem area, which is where the on off switch to the gas pedal fight or flight sympathetic system and most importantly brake pedal vagus nerve parasympathetic system so subluxation creates two issues it can be triggered by high emotional stress it can be triggered by physical stress especially to the neck and that part of the spine and nervous system through physical birth trauma and injury. And subluxation does two things at the same time. It creates what we've been talking about in this whole video, too much sympathetic dominance, too much fight or flight response, and it gets that subluxation means stress, sympathetic nervous system stuck on. But what I haven't talked about yet, and I wanna sneak in one last bit of science, when you have too much sympathetic fight or flight, you have too little rest, digestion, relaxation, regulation, anti-inflammatory cascade function. And so the parasympathetic or what's called the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S, something else I want you to read all about. Read all about not only the sympathetic dominance, subluxation, perfect storm, but I want you to read up on dysautonomia, nervous system dysregulation, and this conversation about vagus nerve dysfunction, because it 
is a part of this subluxation sequence, and it's the most hidden in plain sight right there happened 80 to 90% of our kids had this number two part of the perfect storm, birth trauma. 80 to 90% of kiddos that we take in and case history, and we do a deep dive case history, unlike any doctor out there, because we're doctors of cause looking for real root cause, not just blaming genetics and not just blaming toxins. 85, 90% of the time or more, we find a documented birth injury, birth intervention induced injury and subluxation to the upper cervical and nervous system from those interventions we mentioned a minute ago. And the third component that triggers sympathetic dominance and can create subluxation is toxins. Too many, too often, too early. All three of those, we call them the three T's, traumas, toxins, thoughts in chiropractic. So chemical, physical, and emotional stress our kids, our infants, when developing in utero at birth and in the first couple of years of life, their nervous system is still very immature and it is therefore easily disrupted and put into this imbalance called subluxation and dysautonomia. And that's what triggers the digestive issues that cause colic. That's what triggers the pro-inflammatory and what we call the poor plumber issues that trigger chronic ear infections and respiratory infections and then more antibiotics. That's what triggers the motor and the sensory dysfunction, which delays development and throws the brain development off track, which triggers autism, ADHD, anxiety, and even epilepsy. Sympathetic dominance, fight or flight, dysautonomia, the vagus nerve not working is very well documented and proven to be a trigger of things like seizures, motor tics, OCD, and so forth. Moms, dads, subluxation is the one thing you've probably never heard of along with everything that comes from it. Dysautonomia, nervous system dysregulation, nervous system dysfunction, and vagus nerve dysfunction or injury. These are the things that maybe no one else has told you about, not only in the conventional medical system, but not on your holistic, crunchy, rock star, barefoot wearing, essential oil pumping Facebook groups either. I'm in all those. We live that way. We love that. But the way God designed us is the nervous system is the boss. The nervous system, we always like to say and joke, but it's real. The nervous system is the mom of the entire family. It's the nerve. It's the mom of the entire body. It controls, it coordinates, and it keeps track of everything. So when the nervous system gets stuck, subluxated, and shifted into sympathetic mode for your child, nothing works well together. The gut doesn't work well, even when you go from a perfect diet and tons of supplements. The immune system doesn't work well, even when you get rid of inflammation and get rid of toxins, and you try all these anti-inflammatory supplements, essential oils, herbs, and homeopathics. The motor system doesn't work well when subluxated, even after months, years of PT, OT, and speech therapy. The brain, emotional, behavioral, and, and, and cognitive function of the brain doesn't work well despite years of counseling and talk therapy and whatever it may be that you've tried to help your child's brain function. Underneath every conversation of chronic illness in kids, we can look at a nervous system that is out of balance, dysregulated, and subluxated. We can find it. We use cutting edge technology in our office and throughout the entire PX Docs network called the Insight Scans. And the Insight Scans find subluxation and nervous system dysfunction, dysautonomia, and dysregulation. And what the scans do is they do three things for us. Number one, they find out if your child is in fact subluxated or not. And from this video, that is the one action step I need you to take. Get to our practice if you're local, get to a PX Tox office if you're not, get this consultation. But most importantly, I don't, I don't want to minimize the deep dive case history that we do where we find the root cause and ask questions and explain things that no one, no other doctor does to the level that a pediatric chiropractor does from this network. But from that, then you get this exam, then you get this technology, then you get these cutting edge insight scans where we can find out if your child is subluxated, if yes, where we can create pinpoint customized care plans that are vividly different from not only anything else in healthcare, but even in chiropractic to address this nervous system dysfunction and subluxation in your kid with safe, drug-free, wildly helpful, life-transforming adjustments and care plans. And number three, what the insight scans allow us to do is they allow us to quantify it so we know what we're up against. And unfortunately, in today's world, when we run scans on kids today, they're more stressed, they're more out of balance, they're more subluxated, and they're more dysregulated than ever. And that's even in our incredible families who have gone gluten-free, casein-free, and toxin-free. 
So shifting to this natural wellness lifestyle is phenomenal to help minimize toxins and promote gut healing and anti-inflammatory functions within the body. You are absolutely positively mom and dad have been and are right now moving in the right direction to get your kiddo to heal from chronic illness and challenges naturally, safely, drug-free in the best of ways. Because you've known all along without kind of knowing there's got to be something more. It can't just be genetic and it can't just be gluten either because our genetics don't add up to why my kid is so sick. And we've cleaned up our entire environment, added all these supplements, shifted all the diet changes, tried everything, and nothing else has worked yet. My kiddo is still sick. My kiddo is still struggling. My kiddo is still having seizures, whatever it may be. Subluxation is so often, nearly 100% of the time we find for families who've tried everything and nothing has worked yet, That's the story of subluxation because this little son of a gun or big son of a gun, it hides right in plain sight because everybody knows the nervous system is boss. Everybody knows that our infant's neck and brainstem and all of us is the most important part of the body. We've got to protect it and we don't want to injure it. Brain injuries, neck injuries are the worst. But yet nobody knows that this is exactly what neurologically focused pediatric chiropractors help with. My passion, my conviction, my certainty in getting this message to you to finally get you the answers and the unlock to really getting your kiddo to heal at a level you've been up late at night praying for and searching for. Neurologically focused pediatric chiropractic is absolutely transforming the quality of lives for millions of kids everywhere. We've got an incredible trained network of nervous system focused family chiropractors through this PX Docs network. So whether again, you're watching on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, our blog, or listening on our Experience Miracles podcast, I need you to go to our directory, put in your city, put in your region, put in your zip code and find your local PX doctor so you can have this conversation about subluxation. And most importantly, as it relates to your child, your PX doctor will do a deep dive case history and conversation with you that will blow your mind. And and so many times will leave you crying happy tears because you finally found the doctor who has the root cause explanation you've always wanted all along. And then you'll get the inside scans and we'll be able to find and show you and walk you through. This is what's going on with your child's nervous system. This is how we can help. And this is how long it will take and what we can expect. And then you can get started. So get done. I'm done talking. I'm done going through subluxation, which is the one thing I will. As long as God gives me here time on earth, I will get this message of the perfect storm, the nervous system's importance and subluxation and dysautonomia and nervous system dysregulation out to the world. So I'd ask your help after you get connected to your local PX doctor. Will you please comment on this video and tag a bunch of other moms and dads who need to watch this? Will you please share this on your Instagram stories? Send this out on your group text. I know you got those group text, mom, not just one, but many however many kids you've got taking times five that's how many group texts you're in the soccer group the class group all the different ones right the crunchy granola holistic moms group send this out because subluxation is the missing link to getting millions of kids healthy again because it's not just genetic and it's not just gluten either